Okay, the next thing that we're going to do in terms of fractions is multiply and divide fractions. We'll talk about those rules, and these are actually pretty basic, pretty simple. As long as you know how to multiply and divide uh, with integers, you should be able to multiply and divide fractions very easily. So first, let's just review the two parts of a fraction. Every fraction has a numerator, that's the part on the top, and a denominator, that's what we call the part on the bottom. I'm going to be using those words while um, I talk through the slides here. So let's start with multiplying fractions. To multiply fractions, there are three steps. The first thing you do is multiply together the numerators of the fractions. Then you multiply the denominators of the fractions, and you have your answer but you want to write your answer in lowest terms, so the last thing to do is reduce. So let's look at 3 fourths times 1 sixth. We look at the numerators, the numerators are 3 and 1, the denominators then 4 and 6, so we'll multiply together 3 times 1 and put the answer over 4 times 6. 3 times 1 is 3, 4 times 6 is 24, so this is the result. But that result is not in lowest terms because there is a number that goes evenly into 3 and 24, and that number is 3. So I divide top and bottom both by 3, and then I'll have my answer in lowest terms, 1 8. To divide fractions is a little bit more complex, but um, not too difficult. There are, again, three steps, but the third step is, uh, has multiple parts. So the first step is change the division to a multiplication. So really we're going to uh, do a multiplication problem here. So you need to know how to multiply fractions before you can divide them. After you change to multiplication, you also have to flip over the second fraction. So you switch the numerator and the denominator. If I look at my example down here, the second fraction is 3 over 8. That's the fraction I'm dividing by. I'm going to end up flipping this over, making 3 the denominator and 8 the numerator. And then once I've done that, the last step is to multiply the fractions together. So you, again, you have to multiply, uh, know how to multiply in order to do the division. So let's go ahead and work through those three steps on this problem. First, I will change the division to a multiplication. So I'm going to cross out that divided by and make it a times and then I will flip over the 3 eighths. So the new problem will look like this, 1 half times 8 thirds. That's the same thing as 1 half divided by 3 eighths. It's just a different way of writing it. But this is a problem that we know how to solve. So we multiply the numerators and we get 8, multiply the denominators and we get 6. But don't forget the last step of multiplying is to write the answer in lowest terms. So we have to do that here as well. In lowest terms, that would be 4 over 3. That's it, multiplying and dividing fractions.